leaving naught in their wake but blood and ash. Sun scorches earth and boils seas. And our sins ascend unto the heavens. Three dooms to unmake all we were. The sky burns. The final days are truly upon us. My friends, I trust you have heard the news. We have. What can you tell us of the situation, Your Excellency? Last night, the isle was rocked by tremors, and the earth itself cried out. Aloft, the heavens began to burn. From all about, unholy beasts the likes of which we had never seen, came forth in fury and rage. No. To say they came forth would be... inexact. The people of Radzat Han themselves transformed into these baleful fiends. Just and most dreadful of the lot, wrought havoc upon us here in our fair city. Though they bear superficial resemblance to divinities of legend, they are ungodly abominations. The people decry them as blasphemies. The Large One's rampage has since taken it to the northern reaches of the island. I mean to dispatch our radiant host in an attempt to quell the threat. And what a free trap. Vitra, too, makes for the north of his own accord, and yet... He knows the blasphemy and its minions were but yesterday his beloved people. I pray his boundless compassion and mercy does not deter him from taking unenviable but necessary action. Understood. I ask that you allow us to aid you in quelling this threat. You would risk your lives to help us yet again? I have no words to express my gratitude. Our regiments approach the north from several directions, with a number of units set to depart from the docks of Yedlimat. They will make landfall in an area of dense jungle but one can expect to encounter dangers even beyond the fell beasts we hunt. I leave you to your preparation. You will find me at the docks when you are ready to depart. We're as prepared as we'll ever be. Let's go.